I'm here with the head coach of the IFAF World Team, Coach Heikinen. Coach, how are things shaping up for you guys out there on the field? It's going very well. We have a great field here, great weather, and everything's, everything's going really well, so I'm very, very happy after these first two days. Have there been any standouts to you, anyone that we should keep our eye on? Um, we have, I would say that uh, we have a very good quarterback with Hugo Richard. So he's definitely a key for us to be successful in the game. So if I, at this point, if I had to name just one, I would say, say him. How important do you think an event like this is to grow football globally? It's very important. It is uh, something for young players to aim for. They are at the age where they are, they've been training hard for a few years and, uh, and uh, both, almost all of them play on their national teams and they get selected to the world team program from there. So it's a step up and it's, it probably is uh, if they think in large terms, many of them probably dream of playing in the U.S. colleges maybe one day and so forth. Now they get to play, get to play against the best of their age uh, in the world. So it's a, it's, a, it's a big thing. And you're from Finland. Can you kind of talk to us about the culture of football in Finland? Finland was one of the first countries in Europe to uh, pick up the game. We've been around for uh, 35 years now. And, um, and uh, the culture of football is, uh, with that we have a little bit of history. So we know, know our place among sports in Finland. So we are not big, but we are not really small either. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's there, it's going to stay there, and it's doing pretty well. Some of the guys, when I was talking to them, they were saying that there is obviously a little bit of a language barrier between all the players. How do you think that's affecting them in their practice? Uh, not in practice, because football is uh, the language of football is a universal code in a lot of ways. You know, even even the players are not that, that fluent in, in English in overall. Most likely understand more, most of the terminology and the language of the game. But we, we have some players that are not very fluent in, uh, in uh, English, and we're trying to help them out the best we can. What is the one thing that you guys are focusing on in practices? Is there coming together with an offense and a defensive scheme in seven days is pretty quick, pretty quick turnaround. What are you trying to emphasize to the players? Well, it's we gotta keep it simple. First of all, you have to keep it simple. It has to make sense. It doesn't. It can't be exception to an exception to an exception. We are preparing for one game, so we need to bring. Uh, we need to bring in a, uh, solid packages of understandable concepts for the players so that they can get them, you know, and we get the reps in so that they can get them in them before the game. Well, we are very much looking forward to seeing all the guys out there on Tuesday and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.